What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to color correct slash grade footage in Sony Vegas, any Sony Vegas at all. Doesn't matter if it's 13, 14, 15, 19, 35, even though those are, aren't invented yet, doesn't matter. This is just gonna be a general Sony Vegas color correction slash color grading tutorial. And uh, I'm not even just gonna be color grading and correcting one type of clip. I'm gonna be color correcting, uh, color correcting? <laughs> color correcting and grading two actually very different clip types which possibly you may be color correcting. You know what I mean? So it pretty much is gonna explore um, both ends of the spectrum, whether you're color correcting a really bright scene or whether you're color correcting and grading a really dark scene with not that much to work with. Either way, we're gonna get to it. Okay. Okay, so here we are in Sony Vegas Pro 12. Like I said, I'm using Pro 12 because I just haven't been bothered to update to any of the newer versions because to be honest, nothing really changes. But uh, this does obviously apply to all of the Sony Vegases. But here is our two clips. So the first clip is, okay, don't worry. I, I've muted that so I don't have to worry about all that. But um, it's best full so it's not gonna play like the smoothest obviously because I'm recording my screen and everything like that But essentially the first clip is of a, uh, a, a, a What's called um, a server that waitress I guess but that's not even the thing like a just basically like a like a bar girl pretty much who's um, essentially walking around the club um, With a bunch of shots on like a glowing plate. Okay, so very very cool. Let's just make sure I've disabled resample. Yep, I, you know, I mean, just have to check. And uh, the second clip is essentially just me from <laughs> the the last video I uploaded, I think. So it's me just talking to the camera. So these are very, very different type of shots. Uh, of course, you would never color correct these two in any way similar, to be fair. So I'm going to start with a more interesting one, then lead on to here. So this video will cover how to color correct more cinematography, videography style stuff, and also how to color correct just a basic YouTube video essentially. So this one's the nice light one. This one's the super dark one. Anyways, first off, we're going to start with the super dark one. Also, if you're wondering why there's two layers, this is literally just so that I can show you a before and after, after I've color corrected it, okay? So first off, let's make the top layer non-existent, all right? And to the bottom layer right now, we are going to want to go over to the color corrector. Go ahead and just drag a default color correction over, and my bad, that opens up on the other window. The first frame, I believe I selected that because it was a nice clear frame. And let's just go ahead and get these up. Ah, here, boom, perfect. Color correct this right now. Let's just play it quick. So it's obviously, it's only got that in focus for a set amount of time. And then of course I do follow her. But essentially, we want to bring out these kind of lights down here, right? These are some key parts of this, and we also want to make the back kind of pop out a little bit more, right? So first off, we are, of course, going to start with the lows. Now, the lows, it looks like here, we're going to want to bring out maybe the greenish bit. The greenish, or hmm, I'd probably say the blue, actually. So let's just have a look at what happens if we start edging this a little bit towards the blue. So of course, that's exaggerating the blue now. But the thing is right, actually, is that you don't want to bring it too far, right? Okay, so obviously you bring it down here and it just looks like a Power Ranger or something like that. You want to just gently nudge it towards the color you're trying to uh, kind of have it emulate, right? So of course, there's already a lot of blue in here. It's a club scene. Blue exists in this image. So we're going to bring the lows out of the blue. Now, with the actual mid, the mid is, of course, these little extra bits right here. So you see we've already got green, kind of green glowing from the middle of uh, this kind of tray and obviously in the back you can see. So when we actually start nudging towards the green, that's actually really bringing the uh, green lights that already exist there out a little bit more. So definitely we do want to do this. However, the only thing about this is I believe these lights do change. So if we play this, that looks really nice for Actually, screw it. That, that just looks dope, to be fair. Great. <laughs> um, <laughs> great, man, for real. Uh, so I think we're going to leave the mids right there. Then the highs. See what's looking crazy. That, <laughs> that just looks like it's glowing or strobing, doesn't it? For me, I'm probably going to want to nudge them again just a bit towards the kind of light bluish, right? So now, obviously, blue and green are colors that work well together already. You don't really have to do too much. But now if we play it... That looks really, really nice, okay? Really, really nice, plays the whole way through, she carries it, and overall that looks very, very dope. So quickly, let's just shut that off and bring through the before and after. 
So now if we play it, you can clearly see the line down the middle. The left hand side is the color corrected and the right hand side is the non color corrected. So it's definitely added a nice, a nice amount of change. So next up, we want to make this uh, pop a little bit more, right? Already is looking dope to be fair. Already is looking much, much nicer than before. Let's just go ahead and select this bit right here just so we can fully see. Boom, looking really, really good. But we want to make it pop a little bit more, just like I said. So we're gonna go over to the brightness and contrast and go ahead and just bring over a default brightness and contrast. Then we're just gonna wanna go ahead and tone the brightness up a little bit, just a little bit, not, not too much. Actually, bring the brightness up a decent bit, okay? A little bit more actually thinking about it now than you might want at first. So let's bring it to like there. That, that, may, that may be too much, that almost definitely too much. But then once we've done that, we wanna even it out with the contrast. So let's start pulling the contrast through as well and bring the contrast up pretty high as well. Except now we're gonna to wanna to bring the brightness down a little bit. You pretty much just have to mess around with this until it is nice. And now let's go ahead and actually play that from the beginning real quick, hold tight. Okay, so now you can see it's definitely, it's definitely popping a little bit more. That looks even better now. Split down the middle. Let's just go to the middle of this clip. Let's try to find a bit where this is even. Yeah, where the tray is even between the color correction. Oh, nearly. You see what I mean? I'm just trying to get the line that separates it right down the middle. Okay, so it's definitely, definitely looking much nicer on one side than the other. 100%. 100%. Boom. Pretty good. I honestly think that could be it. Feel free to actually mess around with it further, guys. Of course, I'm just trying to do a basic color correction for you to actually show you what is possible. Already is looking much, much nicer on the left-hand side than it was on the right-hand side. But now, I believe it is time to move on to a much simpler version of the color correction and, and basically see what goes down. By the way, even though I haven't mentioned this already, is it's pretty obvious, this is of course without any um, uh, plugins or presets. Yes, I'm aware that in Sony Vegas you can do far more advanced color correction if you go ahead and get some presets like the HitFilm preset or something like that, um, uh, the HitFilm plugin rather, and uh, that gives you a lot more uh, variety, a lot more options for the color correction. I'm just trying to do this fully in the program for you guys um, on a couple different clip ideas. So yes, the first clip, I'm gonna call that done. I think it's pretty nice. Now we're gonna move on to the next clip and this is going to be right here if you guys are just color correcting a general YouTube video. So for example, my camera, I don't know about yours, my camera has a tendency um, on the picture profile that I actually have set up to kind of have a bit of a flat image. Now, of course, all the images are flat if you're looking at it like that, but you see this image right here, there's not much depth to it. The colors aren't really popping out. Nothing's really too much. I'm sure you understand what I mean by flat. So this right here is what I would call a flat image. Very simple to fix a flat image. You just need to pull the brightness and the contrast up heavily, just like we did in the last clip. And that really has a big effect on a clip that um, is supposedly, you know what I mean, flat at first. So you're gonna wanna add the brightness and contrast to your second clip and pull the contrast up heavy, almost to the point where it's crushing the blacks, right? Fully crushing it, where it, it looks like it, it might just be a little bit too much on its own, okay? And then you wanna pull the brightness up a nice bit as well, but then actually just pull the, the contrast up even more. And now, now if we play this right now, it can definitely be changed a little bit more, pull the contrast up a little bit more, and pretty much just play around until your image looks a little bit more depthful like that. That looks like it has much more depth. In fact, let me go to the beginning and quickly turn on the comparison. Boom, right? You wouldn't have even realized. Look at that, it's absolutely crazy. Of course, the left hand is the color corrected, the right hand is the non-color corrected. So now, if you didn't get that before, I'm sure you see what I mean by a flat image. And a simple color correction like this, which is just uh, an, an add of the brightness and contrast, can completely change your images for, um, you know, I mean, for the extreme better. Absolutely extreme better. Overall, this is pretty much the end of the video now. I just wanted to show off the two very simple color corrections within Sony Vegas. Um, of course, there are way better color correction programs out there. Don't get me wrong. This is just whether uh, this video is just for you if you are like a loyal Sony Vegas user and you want to learn how you can do some nice color correction. Overall, two very simple color corrections right here. Left hand is the after, the right hand is before, left hand is the after, right hand is before. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right, thanks for watching the video, guys. I've been Jack Chris, Jack Cole. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Give me a comment down below, actually, telling me about a video type 
that would help you. And without further ado, see you in the next video. <laughs> that is a huge further ado. <laughs>